everyone, this is Rocco coming at you with another 11.3.6 drive. We are heading to into town to get a haircut, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. We have this uh, you know, issue where it's not letting us enable it. We'll see how long it takes here. Maybe it just needs a set amount of time after you start driving for it to enable. I'm not really sure. Um, if I can time it just right, it'll, there we go, it lets me enable it. Um, yeah, I actually wanted to thank everyone who continues to watch the videos, even though this has gone wide release, I really appreciate you, you guys are the reason I keep on making these videos. I really appreciate the support, so I just wanted to thank everyone that continues to watch. Uh, we're just going to see how this does here kind of give the nuances of everything so again that was great honestly as good as it could have been going through that um, it's, it's right here it's always seems to break right in this spot see it's breaking again I'm having to press the accelerator because since that car is behind me it's still trying to break it's wide open to get onto the highway and okay if it was a little bit farther left I would have disengaged Again, it needs to turn the blinker on and get over. The person behind me turned the blinker on and got over already. Same time I was getting over. That's just, I really, I, I wanna see a study on this and like understand like why Tesla decided to do it this way. In an ideal world, yes, the zipper merge is better, but, yep, I, um, in a sec. Uh, in an ideal world, the zipper merge is better, but we don't live in an ideal world. We have to deal with pe like people that don't want to let you in. We have to deal with like adjusting conditions. It could be stuff blocking your way. The lane might run out of space, etc., etc. The car's going to need to account for that. I hope that is what they work on for the next major release uh, version. But that's really what I want to see. So this. I just changed my wheels back to um, the Pilot Sport for all seasons. Uh, so, actually, I wonder if I can. Uh, I'll keep it. So, I guess 2023, I've done that so far. As you can see, I don't drive too much. <laughs> um, me in April. But yeah, I'm working from home, I don't. I don't drive all that much. Most of my videos are as much as I drive, to be honest. Occasionally I go out without recording a video, but, you know, or if I go on a trip somewhere. But yeah, that, that's why that was up there. Changed, changed up my tires. So the car is actually wanting to change lanes because this car in front of me is going too slow. And actually you can see it's really appropriate. Uh, I might not have changed lanes as soon, but it actually I think the car did the better move. And actually I'm going to go ahead and speed it up anyway. Um, just to get around this and go back up to the speed limit. Which actually the speed limit doesn't change to 65 until a little bit up ahead. I'm hoping it doesn't get over. See this is... And see, this is where I'm hoping they've improved. And it seems like they have. Navigating Autopilot 100% would have tried to get behind that truck. And it would have stayed there and got stuck. Now it's probably going to get over here, but then it's going to get stuck up this truck up ahead. Maybe, unless the truck accelerates up to the speed limit. So right here is where it changes to 65, technically. Again, it seems to be slowing down too much before it gets off the highway. Uh, I wish it would just start slowing down like half second before it gets off. Instead of like, you know, several seconds before it gets off. Yeah, so this is weird. I don't know why it decides to change lanes. This, this is a version 11 thing. It's done this more than one time where it gets into the right lane, which is fine, but it's what's wrong with it is that it gets into the left lane then swerves over to get into the right lane I don't like that so 
so far, I think it's done pretty well with this traffic. Now, I don't know what it's doing right here. I don't know why it decides to, like, wait and then get over. Though, this was seems to be the most appropriate move, considering how many cars are in this lane here. I don't know if technically you can change lanes from the left, right lane. But, whatever. We did it. Did it great, too. I need to look that up, because I remember in college, um, I wasn't the one driving. Uh, I wasn't even in the car, actually. There was a police car. There were two right turn lanes. I don't, rec I don't believe there was a sign. But, um, the... A police car pulled someone over from turning from the left turn, the left of the right turn lanes. So I don't know if that's illegal or not allowed. Um, but I guess if there's no signage, I mean, I don't know. You know if you, anyone knows, definitely comment down below. I'd be curious. So we're gonna look to see how fast it drops in speed once it gets to 35 right here. Very oh. Because this person was breaking because of the light. I'm gonna say very quickly drops to drops in speed, but uh, because of the cars in front was slowing down because of the light. Appropriate for that van cutting in front. The car did pause and hesitate for a second, but then continued going. Uh, ultimately. It needs to maybe just start slowing down instead of just like pulsing the brake real quick. Why are we trying to stop right there? We're already going too slow for being in the left lane. The car was trying to like stop as if that light was red, I think. But it didn't say it here. So I'm not sure exactly what it was doing. I had to press the accelerator to keep it going. Okay, it's trying to figure out where to get in this left turn lane here. Having a hard time. Interesting. So it's probably freaking out because this car in front was coming right at me. Okay, I'm having to press the accelerator because it's a person behind me. Um, but it still made it nonetheless. And I do believe that was uh, zero disengagements unless we get one just right around this curve here. We'll see. Um, we are going to do again back to back on this drive just to see how it does. This is no Okay, well, it ran off the road just a tiny bit right there. But, um, enough in major critical. It's not like it had a curb. Uh, I was trying to stop because of that sign right there. But, uh, anyways, I think that did pretty well. We're gonna turn around, and I will see you once I'm back out. Okay, everyone, we are back going home on the second half of this route. We're gonna see if we can get back-to-back um, -back zero disengagement drives here. And it's gonna let us enable it pretty quickly. So really the hardest part of this entire um, end of this route is this turn right here. It's a um, unprotected right, if that even counts. Um, okay, so that's good. Stay a little bit further away from the curb. Uh, and then the left turn, which I think version 11 fixed, that's further up the road. Um, basically, it's not it's not really that hard of a route going back. So this really is a good chance everything um, does good. Especially there is absolutely no traffic from the left. Unless the car just decides to screw up. Oh yeah, so I think it's right where that fire truck is turning. In. Let's see, make sure it doesn't do it. No, it, see, see how it flipped that right there? I'm holding the... It's still trying to do it. But maybe it's not gonna like actually do it. I don't. I haven't been this route home since 10.25.2. Yeah, so that that fixed that problem. Um, at least on this drive, I did it twice on the previous version, so it is definitely a consistent bug. Um, but what I'm trying to explain, if you haven't seen my old video, the car would just the route would just decide. Even though the route was like this on the screen, it would just decide, oh, we're gonna zip through the parking lot for no apparent reason. It just it just decided because it had this little jog in the road. Like, oh, we gotta turn right into the parking lot. 
thinking that was the way to continue on the route. It was the most bizarre thing. And it's like, just a good reminder to always have your hand on the wheel because like, it was just kind of immediately turn the wheel like a 90 degree turn into the parking lot. Um, so yeah, that can always happen at any time. Even I'm, that can definitely happen even on version 11. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna say, hey, it needs to get over, and immediately, as soon as I was about to say that, it turns the blinker on and does a fantastic, well-executed lane change. There's a guy, so you can see that truck, from my mirror, looks way closer than this camera does, because the wide angle camera looks further away. He's pretty close to me. And this car in front, you can see how close that car was, and it, it merged right between them, perfectly. And it's getting over in the left lane correctly, and we're already in the turn lane right when it should get in the turn lane. Let's see if it's going to get over again. Because in my opinion, it needs to stay in this this lane right here, and it and it does good. Uh, that was that was fantastic. That was like I about as good as it ever could have done. Like with the traffic and everything, it was great. I should also note that I haven't had any interventions. Um, I'm gonna really, 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 really try not to intervene. Um, the only place, the really the mo biggest place that could mess up again is on um, get get right before we get on the highway up here. I'll explain. Okay, so for some reason it decided to break fairly hard in the last second right there. Awesome stuff, man. <laughs> it, it It's driving just aggressive enough to be really good. Like, I might have just, like, been really lazy and just stayed in the right lane and stayed behind that car and not got over and just, 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 you know, if the car's driving itself, I don't care as much. But this, this is doing so well. This, I don't, you're not supposed to change lanes underneath, in, 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 sorry, in the middle of an intersection. That can be improved. Uh, you should wait until you're through the intersection, then change lanes. I think the reasoning for that is, um, let's see if it messes up with this truck here. I don't think so. Yeah, we're good. Uh, the reasoning for that is that a car could be uh, coming out um, from the right lane, uh, from a, taking a right turn. And you know they might not see you changing lanes, and that could be an issue. Okay, I see he's gonna accelerate pretty good getting on the highway. Okay. Again, no blinker, and you know merges over. I'm, oh, it's gonna change lanes. I don't. I didn't want it to change lanes here. Because this car is probably gonna speed back up and then try and pass me then. I'm trying to get zero interventions. I'm really gonna try. Um, now obviously to do that, I have to get a speed limit and the speed limit on this section road is 65 and it drops to a 55 up here. And as you can see, like I said, this car is now trying to pass me and then there's gonna be traffic behind me soon. My car needs to get over, especially there's a sign up here that it's telling it to get over. If I don't get over soon, I, let's see if it will do it on its own. I'm really pushing my comfort level here because I really don't, I don't like, yeah, it's good, I'm gonna have to, there it goes, okay. I, that, that really pushes my comfort level too far. I really don't. I don't. Uh, I don't like that at all. Um, and fortunately, uh, because it's a construction zone, I can go to speed limit and not feel like I'm going too slow here. Though I'm sure everyone behind me is hating my guts right now. Uh, I would normally go 60 right here, at least until we get to the construction workers, um, and then I would probably slow back down. But, you know, 
the car's driving, right? I don't have to worry about it. So that, that's something that's interesting to think about, like when we're actually in robo, true robo taxis. And like, you know, you should feel semi self conscious, like, are you being a dick to someone on the road? Are you being a terrible driver? Hey, why are you, oh, it's beeping because of the lights right here. Um, like, are you being a terrible driver? You should, like, correct yourself. But the car doesn't have feelings, right? I mean, I don't think it does. Maybe with AGI, maybe it'll have feelings. I don't know. Um, but, <laughs> I, it, it needs to know uh, when it's causing issues with cars around us. These cones that are rather close and it doesn't like the cone. My foot is over the accelerator in case it decides to jam on the brakes. And funny enough, we're catching up to these cars here. Um, only going 55. I don't know how we're catching up. It's, which, please don't catch up because if we do, that means my car is going to get in the left lane and stay 55 until we get up to this sign right here. Okay, I think they're finally speeding back up. Hopefully this truck will pass me. Yep, he's getting over. There you go. Okay, good. Because as long as that car is next to me, then my car won't try and speed up and get in the left lane. Another car coming up on my left, and now we're going up to the 65. Hopefully these cars in front are going to speed up. See, this makes it, like, to me... Because I don't know when the car is going to change lanes or try and change lanes, then it makes it a little bit more stressful because I'm having to like pay attention. I'm like, okay, am I going to need to cancel it? Do I need a break? I mean, is the car going to do something like get in the way of someone else? Is it going to change lanes for no reason? It's kind of set there. Version 11 is dramatically improved over Navigate Autopilot. Oh, I hit a pothole. Um, over Navigate Autopilot when it comes to like knowing when to change lanes. It is drastically better. I, I expect by the end of the, this year, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be so good. Uh, it, because it's using neural nets now to decide when to change lanes. And it's just gonna be as good as a human, if not better. Like it's gonna know because it can read the velocity of a car coming up behind me and know, hey, if I get over and I'm gonna accelerate this fast, will I be able to pass the car in front of me before the person behind me catches up to me? And then it can, it can know better if it's a good time to, to change lanes or not. This might be my first zero intervention drive. That As long as I don't have to press the accelerator to get it through this intersection up here, this will be our first zero intervention drive. Moment of truth, everyone. There's a car behind me. Are they gonna turn left or are they gonna turn right? I'm backwards in my mirror. I don't know what direction that is. They're turning right. Awesome. And there's a car on my left. Um, nope, it should not go unless it's gonna just go for it. Okay, good, it stopped. And now we can go after this car. Hey, it's a Model Y. Teslas have to be courteous to other Teslas. That's the rule, right? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, okay. I, we can't count the drive until we're past this one-way sign right here. Well, the blue sign right here. Okay. That calls it. First drive with zero interventions. I really think that is my first drive ever with zero interventions. I, I really can't think of any other time because I've always had to adjust the speed. I've always had to like tap on the accelerator to get it to go. I've always had to do some weird thing like that. This is the first zero intervention drive I've ever gotten. That's, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, so yeah, everyone, that makes me really happy. Um, if you have questions for me, put them down below uh, in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Appreciate you watching, as always. Hi everyone.